Hi there, everyone. This is Melissa from DJ Event Planner, and today we're going to cover the topic of booking helpers. In this video, I will show you where to create a booking helper and a brief explanation of each section for setup. What exactly is a booking helper? Booking helpers are macro commands that help you accomplish multiple steps by the click of one button, such as updating an event-based date, sending an email, and changing the event status all at once. You can analyze your workflow to see what works best for you. Every company has a different process and booking helpers will allow you to eliminate tasks that you do routinely when sending, receiving, and adding information for each event. Let's go over your options in creating a booking helper. First, go to Setup, Application, Booking Helpers. You can see here we've created many different types of booking helpers just to give you an example of what they can do for your business. We will take a look at one of these in a moment. But for now, click on the Add button on the right hand side of the page and we'll go through the booking helper setup page. Each of the tabs that you see here represent an area that certain actions can take place. Under the General tab, this tab is where you will give your booking helper a title. You can also make this booking helper visible as a button within an event, which can then be color-coded as you'd like. The Display Options section is where you will choose which of your events you want this booking helper to be available. This can be done by choosing only certain event statuses and certain event types. For example, if this booking helper were to be created for wedding event types only with any pending status, then you would only choose those options in these areas. You also can choose to have it show when only certain packages or add-ons are selected within an event. This is helpful if you want to assign certain pieces of equipment. And you can also choose to hide this booking helper if at least one payment has been made for an event. The Event Details tab. This tab is where you can choose to update an event status or to set a next action and next action date. You also have the option to change an event name, which is merge tag enabled, such as if you want to put the merge tag for last name, and event type, which would change the name of the event to your client's last name and what type of event they are having, such as Jones's wedding. For the financial tab, you have the ability to add a payment to an event based on these three options, retainer, balance due, or total fee. Choose your method of payment, reason for payment, and you can choose to prompt for details. However, please note, the prompt for payment details will only work for manually triggered booking helpers, which means this will not prompt for details if you have the booking helper set to be triggered after sending an email. Also on this tab, you can set the package that you would like. Again, please note the instructions that this will not affect the financials in any way. You would need to manually update the financials by editing the event. The Client Portal tab allows you to set certain options for the Client Portal. Client Access Lockout status can be set to one of these three options when the Booking Helper is triggered. Automatic, Override, and Lockout. You can change the portal theme for your client's portal. This is helpful if you've created a custom portal theme for specific event types. And you can also set your client portal permissions to viewable or not viewable by the client for these options. Fees and payments, add-on fees, the make a payment button, timeline, and the song request system. In the event planning tab, this tab allows you to select an event activities form, additional planning forms, special songs list, timeline, and evaluation forms for the event type you are in at the time. Setting these options and using the ability to automate a booking helper can have your planning forms and options added to the event automatically upon save of adding a new event. Using this Send Emails section will allow you to select email templates to send to your clients, venues, vendors, employees, and specific email addresses. 
Using this step will save you a bunch of time by sending them all at once by triggering the booking helper instead of having to manually email each of these people individually from within the event. Using the options on the date time tab allows you to set event related dates. You can set them to be populated by current date, by up to 120 days after current date, or by up to 180 days before event date. Having a booking helper for setting event based dates is very helpful for dates that do not automatically populate upon adding an event to your system or during a particular step in your workflow process, such as when sending the contract or booking the event. Making sure your event dates are populated will ensure that your scheduled email templates are triggered to send as they are based on X amount of days before or after a particular event date. The second and third scheduled payment dates and any custom event dates can also be set here. Also, if your business uses setup time for your employees, you can trigger a booking helper to configure the setup time, which is calculated to start time minus X amount of minutes. This is easily added for a booking helper with set automation upon saving a newly added event. The Employees tab allows you to choose employee options for your events. Change a salesperson, assign a specific employee, choose a specific position for them to be assigned, and also set the role for the employee. You can also click here to have all assigned employees as notified, which would work in correlation with sending emails to your staff. Automation is a function of booking helpers and will allow you to have booking helpers triggered immediately upon save when adding a new event or when editing an event for the first time if specific packages and add-ons are assigned. Automation does not work if just saving an event after minor edits. Under the heading, when adding a new event, choose your event status where this booking helper will trigger Choose which event types would correspond to this helper, specific packages, add-ons, and for a particular inquiry source. Under the heading, when updating an event, select the packages and add-ons that will need to be assigned to an event in order to trigger the booking helper upon saving an edited event. Under the Documents tab, you can set one of your document templates as saved within an event when the booking helper is triggered. This Equipment tab is very useful when you need to add equipment to an event, saving you the time to have to manually add each piece of equipment manually within that event. You also have the option to remove previously assigned equipment within that event. And finally, this is the Contact Manager tab. This booking helper option makes it easy to schedule an appointment, a to-do item, or a client contact to an event. Choose the type, give it a title, choose your date options by using X amount of days are equal to before or after a specific event date. Once created, a booking helper will be shown here on the booking helper setup front page. You can see at a glance the name of the booking helper, the settings for that booking helper, whether or not it is set up for automation, and also if you've created a button and the color you created for it. You can also reposition your booking helpers in this list as needed. You can edit them, duplicate them, or delete them if they are no longer needed for your account. Let's take a quick look at one of the created booking helpers in this account to give you an idea of what they can do and how they work. This Send Contract Helper is designed to be displayed in any of these event statuses representing your pending statuses. For this particular helper, the following are set up to happen all at once. Under the Event Details, the event status will be updated to Contract Sent. Under Send Emails, the client will be sent the Booking Confirmation email, and all assigned employees will be sent Employee Notification of Booking email. And for the date and time, the contract sent date will be added with the current date. 
Now, if you navigate to an event with one of the statuses assigned to this booking helper, you will see the Send Contract Wedding DJ button here on the left, or you can use the drop-down menu on the right and find the booking helper listed there. Click on either choice and you will see a pop-up telling what actions will take place when triggered. Then, once triggered, you will see a slide side menu showing the actions were complete. We do have a video tutorial of how to create a specific booking helper labeled How to Send Contract Using a Booking Helper located on our DJ Event Planner YouTube channel. Have a try at creating your own booking helpers to suit your business workflow. We often suggest to set up a testing event in your account well into the future for you to try out your booking helpers, templates, and other event-related actions. If you are seeing this video and have not yet signed up for our 30-day free trial, please do so at djeventplanner.com.